all right guys what's going on welcome back we're gonna do a crack pressure uh, some people call it pop-off pressure on one of these Makuni let me show you the BN 38 BN 44s a lot of these watercrafts this is for the $500 jet ski if you're following my videos right here I got this on Amazon it's the name of it and we're gonna get this I'm gonna prop it up we're gonna get the card propped up on the flywheel like this just so I can get it straight well first before we do that I got these rubber caps on Amazon we're gonna come back here on the secondary line we're gonna cap this off nice and tight nice rubber cap I ordered an assortment of them many different sizes they've come in handy for a lot of different things we'll take we'll hook up our quarter inch line to our uh, primary fuel line right there all right guys I didn't realize on this carb on these uh, seven these 780 carbs you're gonna have to block off both sides my own ignorance okay now we'll refill her up the WD-40 in there now let's pump her up see what we got there she goes I'll focus the camera on there you'll see well, that's 10 pounds okay we're still going it's about maybe 16 or no 14 pounds right there 15 pounds you guys see that that's your crack pressure let's do it again right there 15 pounds let me check the manual and let me see if this is right setup I'm gonna run with my pipe and everything else I'm looking for about 18 psi pop-off pressure from a forum I've been reading that's just what I'm going by so we're gonna start there what I did is I bent the levering valve or levering meter um, lever down just a hair you don't want to go over a millimeter it just took a hair I was starting at about 15 pounds you can see it's almost just a hair under flush it's letting that needle open nice and good so I'm gonna do that with the other two and we'll set them at about 18 pounds and we'll try it there to start so there's a little video on setting crack pressure uh, make sure your rubber seals on the back of these carbs down here you might even want to use a hose clamp it's very important you want to make sure you're not leaking pump that gauge up let it sit you know check for leaks check for bubbles so there you guys have it quick little video on uh doing uh crack pressure pop off pressure on the uh bn 38s so thanks for watching